Richie Rich, here we go. Who the man? 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 Richie Rich, who the man? Oh man, it's uh, it's RFK Jr. This one is very, very obvious. RFK Jr. is the man. Absolutely the man. Um, the bear story. The bear. Could you imagine like uh, me or you being regular citizens? We uh, we see a dead bear cub right on the side of the road, and then we decide, you know what? Why don't we throw it in the van? It didn't look like it got hit too bad. The meat looks really fresh. I think I'm gonna skin the uh, the baby bear, the cub, and uh, and then I'm gonna put the meat in uh, in uh, in uh, the freezer, and we'll get to that. We'll maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll have some some uh, some bear steaks this summer. Imagine this is you, right? And then uh, you're on your way to do some falconry when all this happened, when you saw the bear on the side of the road that somebody else hit that you had to pick up because you're going to skin the bear, throw the meat in the in the freezer, and then you're going to have bear steaks sometime down the road. So then you go to the falconry thing, right? And uh, that goes a little too long because your thought is, you know what, before I take this flight out of New York City, I'll be able to bring the bear back into the city and, uh, and uh, skin the thing and get it ready. So we could have bear steaks and bear burgers later on in the summer. So then, man, the falconry goes way too long. He's got the bear in his damn car or his van. He drives back to the city. He's got a dinner party. Then he's got a flight and everything is running late. So he's like, man, I, I don't have time to take care of this, uh, this baby cub. So then he gets the bright idea, right? Why don't we dump it in Central Park? and make believe a bike hit it and i do the loops in central park so that uh, that's honestly very feasible there are there are bike accidents uh in central park all the time that are just horrific you got the tourists they're in central park they're looking at their little map hey wow look at this and then they get crushed by the next lance armstrong who's flying with his bike gear it just crushes the people and then you're you're riding by all nice and easy, just trying to get some exercise in because you're sick of doing steps. And then you see this horrific scene on the side of uh, the side of the, the path there or whatever, the, the route, the Central Park biking route with ambulances and whatnot. So it, th that's feasible that it could set it up like the bear cub got hit by a bike in Central Park. Problem is there haven't been bears in Central Park and God knows maybe maybe forever. So he sets this up. He thinks it's going to be funny. I don't know where he got the bike from, but I guess if you're really rich, you just got a few extra bikes laying around because how I read the story, he left the bike there too. So somebody's going to hit the hit the, the bear cub and then leave the dead bear cub in Central Park with a bike nearby? That doesn't make no sense. That sounds stupid. So that's what he did. He dropped the bear cub off at such a park and make and made believe that it got hit by a bicyclist oh my this rfk he needs to be the president of these united states of america and then uh you know um all the media outlets at the time this was 2014 they did uh they did all sorts of stories on the, the this is a this is a dead bear cub at such a park what then they get the experts. Well, I don't think this is possible. I don't think a bear could sustain itself in such a park with the black the tap 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 tap. And then the story kind of casually went away. But the problem is when you do stuff like this, you, you can't tell anybody. So he told a few people at the time, wouldn't it be funny if we dropped the bear cub in such a park with the bike and make believe the bike hit the bear cub? And then of course one of those people started yapping. They were yapping to somebody, and uh, the story was going to come out, uh, I don't know, within the next week, let's say. So he decides, you know what? I got to tell my side of the story. Where's Roseanne Barr? So he tells the story to Roseanne Barr. <laughs> She's dumbfounded. You know how hard it is to make Roseanne Barr dumbfounded? She loves her QAnon stuff. And even she was dumbfounded by the RFK uh, Bear Cub story in Central Park. My God. My God. So, Richie Rich, with the rain of coming, I have to say that RFK Jr. is the man. The man. Oh, and by the way, he's not in trouble. Oh, no. He had to sweat it out. He said, I had to sweat it out. He was uh, nervous that he was getting 
going to get in trouble with the law enforcement. You know, it's supposed to be a funny prank between him and his friends, I guess. And then he had to sweat it out. And I think after a year, he was good. He was good. He was good. <laughs>